They're fishing for crab in Samish Bay, but the catch of the day is something nobody here wants. <laughs> These are all just dungies here. Yeah, it's pretty scary. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's my livelihood out here, so we've been catching quite a few of them right here. This crew from Taylor Shellfish is looking for European green crabs. They're spreading through Washington waters. Their number is growing with about 140,000 of them found this year alone. That's yeah. a good catch right there. Here, there's a couple more. It's a trend we don't want to see getting worse. The European crabs devour local Dungeness crabs as well as clams. They damage salmon spawning habitats. Capturing them brings mixed feelings on the water. Oh, it feels good. It's good and bad. We know it's not good to find them, but it feels good to be getting rid of them. Shellfish are a $270 million a year industry in Washington, supporting more than 3,000 jobs. So catching these crabs before the situation gets completely out of control is critical. Here in this one bay alone, shellfish generate 70 full-time jobs, $2 million in payroll, and $9 million in sales. Last year, the state enacted an emergency order to address the European green crab problem. We got like a survey that we fill out here and log their location. These crabs are sent to the University of Washington for analysis, the last bunch until spring when the traps will be set again. You know, so maybe if we focus on trapping them, we can get them down below our reproducing population and and stem the impact here. But this catch of the day is elusive and the fishermen far outnumbered. I think it's kind of a lost cause to think that we're gonna stop them. But we can slow them down by getting on this as quickly as we can. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.